is always sexier. <laughs> Some of the ladies behind me left me with the wind. I mean, literally. Today's video is uh, dedicated, or let's say is specifically meant for men and also for women, for those women who are tired to hang around with a sack of potatoes. In fact, ladies, you have a responsibility. You are the first and best soldiers of elegance. Let's be straightforward and not uselessly politically correct. You ladies, you have a power. You have a real strong influence on your men, on your male friends, on your male colleagues. So use it. Use it to improve them, to make them better, to make them notice what they can do better to look better and to be better because our surface is always, yes, I said always, a representation of the person we are inside. Today, we are going to talk about the most formal dresses, suits for men. And to do so, I decided to wear one of the most casual items I have in my closet. A wonderful linen shirt, just to balance. Let's start with the first one, the passepartout of men's formality. The smoking, or tuxedo, or dinner jacket, or black tie, depending where you are watching this video from. The fact that it's a passepartout and its versatility, of course we are talking about still something very formal. The fact that uh, you can let's say, personalize it quite much, made the smoking, the dinner jacket, super used, misused, abused. The first thing that you notice and that helps you to distinguish it from a normal suit are for sure the satin labels. Doesn't matter if they are the uh, peak ones or the shawl ones. The important thing is that it's rather black or midnight blue, or in summer there is the variation of white, but only the jacket. Among the formal suits is the one that you can personalize the most, or let's say is the one where uh, formality leaves a bigger, wider space of uh, interpretation, but it's always out of place if you wear it earlier than 6 p.m. Let's jump to the tight or morning coat or morning dress or morning suit, as you can easily guess, is the day alternative to the dinner jacket. In fact, that's the traditional men's wedding suit. Nowadays, you don't see it uh, so often, not even uh, in those circumstances, but still, would be the most appropriate one. It leaves uh, some space for uh, interpretation, like the, the dinner jacket. Again, I have to repeat you, we are talking about formality. So when I say space of interpretation, we are still talking about something very, very tight. In fact, for example, you don't have to forget that is always single breasted. And let's mention also the top of menswear formality, the non plus ultra of men's elegance. The frac or tailcoat or white tie. Here the space for interpretation, the space for personalization get even narrower. Let's say there isn't. But it's interesting, for instance, that in the highest representant of men's formality is broken one of the basic rules of a man standing and wearing a jacket. I mean, 
the fact that uh, usually you have to have the jacket put on. In the tailcoat, is exactly the opposite. You can spend a lifetime and never having the chance to wear a tailcoat. Not because uh, of its price, but because the situations where it's absolutely needed to wear a tailcoat are really few, really specific. Imagine some uh, diplomatic events, state dinners, really official balls. But be clear, there are no limitations, no restrictions about the fact that you can wear a tailcoat the day of your wedding. This was just a quick overview on the three masterpieces of men's formality. If you are interested in digging a bit more into it, because really now I just touched the main points, some little curiosities, let me know. And we will do a dedicated video for each of these three. Believe me, they deserve it. They will not be short. They cannot be short. There are a lot of indications, a lot of rules, let's say, that it's important to know. Because, yeah, breaking the rules, it's cool. But before to be able to break rules, you have to own them perfectly. Also because a man in a suit, whatever type of suit, is always sexier if he wears it properly. Ciao!